Well, uh, Nick Saban said that you, you, you he, he said that your weakness, I guess, would be pass coverage. Uh, what do you feel about that? And then he also asked us if uh, if you should rush the passer less or more. Uh, just what, if you could decide, what would you, what would you pick? Yeah, um, you know, sometimes I have to take myself. I take myself out of uh, my linebacking drills and, you know, go over there with Coach Saban sometimes. And, you know, I do one line, two lines sometimes with him and try to get my DB work right. But uh, if it was my choice, I'd go and um, rush the passer because I like to do that. So, yeah. Uh, Bryce, could you just talk a little bit about Jalen Milrow, his game today, and just his the spring that he's had? Uh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, all right. Uh, yeah. J Jamil um, had a he's had a really good spring. He's he's improved a lot um, in all all facets. Um, you can see, you know, after a year in the system, he's really uh, coming to his own. Really being able to, um, you know. You move past to figuring out what the plays are, what the calls are, to being able to really embody and embrace the system. And now he's making checks, he's making the right calls, <laughs> making the right protection adjustments. And I think you saw it a lot um, on on the field today with you know not only you know obviously how explosive he is in the run game and, and what he can do with his legs, but he's he's been you know consistent in the pocket, outside the pocket, making throws on and off platform. I'm getting through all his reads, um, so I, I feel like he's developed a lot throughout spring, and I think uh, a lot of that came to light today. For Will and Henry, how difficult is it on a day today to not hit the quarterback when you're coming off the edge or coming up the middle? Is it is you know, how did you say that the pass rush played today? Um, well, it's not that difficult when you know who's back there throwing the ball and how much the team needs him and values him, or you're gonna get your butt chewed out. So all spring we've been very cautious of touching Bryce. So um but as far as pass rush, I think one of the biggest things was like the younger guys learning the plays. It was never like the ability. You're just learning the plays, and I think this year is going to be something special. And I think you guys talk about like the 2016 defense pass rush. I feel like you guys can most definitely like get ready to see that again because we have a lot of talented young guys on the edge and the D line room, and it's going to be something special this year. Henry, um, we love Bryce too much to hit him. <laughs> so that's that. I mean, Will covered it all. You know, we have a, a lot of elite pass rushers, you know, including the younger guys. Um, and I think we do a great job of. Especially Coach Golden, Pete Golden, you know, does a great job of drawing up pressures for, you know, our guys to be able to get to the quarterback. And, you know, Will's helping us there. Yeah, uh, well, question for Bryce and different question for the defensive guys. Uh, Bryce, adding a guy like Jameer this offseason, uh, how important was it to get that kind of uh, just burst on this offense? And then for the defensive guys, uh, how hard is it to defend uh, a guy like Jameer? Yeah, uh, getting Jai and, and Adam was probably seen as Huge, you know, huge addition. You know, you saw that big run and that that explosiveness. Uh, you know, really that um, that big playability that he brings is, is something that's really big. Uh, obviously, anytime you can, you know, it's one thing when you give a run and it's a five twenty yard run, um, and then you know there's a whole another thing when it's a seventy five yard run that Ace Hardaway and that he's capable of on, on almost every play. Um, so he's come in, he's worked really hard, he's fit in really well, um, and you know to have that explosiveness is, is it's huge for us offensively. Yeah, I mean, and as far as you know, playing against him on defense, you know, he's quick, elusive. We never get in and out of cuts, and you know, he knows when to run the ball, when to put his head down, and you know, when to make a move. Um, you, know, you guys seen it, like that long touchdown that he had. Um, you know, he's definitely going to be a huge part of our offense, and um, you know, it's up to him to just be able to keep his head down, work hard. Um, you know, because he'll be a great player. So. Do they work? Okay, uh, Will and Bryce, I heard that you guys uh, were talking before the game and Will said that he was going to get to Bryce as much as he could and you said you'd give him two and then, you know, you were going to have issues. So um, how how much of today was having fun and then uh, getting better? Uh, I think I think actually, um, you know, throughout spring, uh, you know, we're, we're across from each other every day and I think it's not really – um, I don't think the two are mutually exclusive. I think both of us, um, you know, we're big competitors and, you know, we're always going to talk, you know, talk a little trash and, and, and compete, but that's the fun in it. That's why you choose Alabama. That's why, um, you know, we all want to be here is so we could play against the best, practice against the best. And, um, you know, knowing that I have, you know, we on the other side, you know, we're always going at it. We're always competing. So, um, you know, I think it's, you know, it's, it's both. So, you know, we all come out here. We both wanted to win. We both wanted to, you know, give it our all. You know, I, I hated losing. 
And, um, you know, I you know I enjoy that, I embrace that, and getting to have guys like Will, like Henry on the other side of the ball that, that challenge me and, and push me to be the best version of me and us to be the best offense that we can be. Um, it's fun for us, and it gets us way better. So I think it's, you know, it's, it's both for us. For me, I love it because I like when Bryce gets riled up. And, like, he – I can never, like – I try to, like, get him, like, out his, like, so calm mood when I start talking to him, but it, it never works. So for me, I think when I go on the field every day at practice, I think like that's one of my biggest goals. Like, how can I make Bryce mad? And it never works. <laughs> but um, like he said, I think he hit it right on the head. It's like the competition part of it, you know. Like, and I think the reason why it's so fun is because Bryce he has it all like in the quarterback. And you know, no matter what quarterback you see that week, they're gonna have a trait that Bryce has, even though he has all of them. So if it's a running quarterback, you get it in practice. If it's a po- a pocket quarterback that stays in the pocket, you get it in practice. And I just think that's what makes it so fun because you get to see a different quarterback in Bryce every day at practice. And so, like, he can juke you out one play and you got to be ready to, like, pump the brakes. Or he can stay in the pocket. You got to be ready to push the pocket so he can get out the pocket. So I think that's, like, one of the funnest things about competing with Bryce because he, he has it all around. So, yeah. For Bryce and Will, before the game, you guys were over at Denny Chimes. Just what did it mean to, to be a part of that and to – you know, we'd be captains going into this season. Uh, yeah, it was it was a huge honor. Um, it's funny we were actually just talking about that and how you know it's something that you know when we're older, um, you know we, we bring our families back to and we can look back on it and um, it's it's a huge accomplishment. Um, again, we we're actually just talking about it, but it's crazy to think um, something like that was is, is even achievable. Um, we met in the All American game our senior years, and um, you know it's crazy to see you know how far you know in, in these past few years it. We, we've come for something like that and something that's so monumental to me um, to happen. So it's a huge honor. Um, you know, it's, it means a lot to, to me based off the tradition just to be associated with the other names that are on the floor there. Um, it, it means a lot. So it was, it was a lot of fun. It was, I'm glad my family was able to be there. So uh, it, it's huge for me. For me, um, I think it's a really big accomplishment, especially at, you know, everybody says leadership has no age. But for um, for us to do that as sophomores, I think that's something really special. Um, leadership is not an easy thing. Leadership is very lonely at times. But um, I think when you have the respect from your teammates and you know you do the right things every day, you know they have no choice but to respect you. And I just think that's when it comes back to you know um, how do you go about your day every day? And just to be out there and like Bryce says, see all the names and like Tua, Landon, Devontae Smith, Anthony Jennings, and see all those names out there. Um, it really means a lot, and you know I'm very grateful. Um, my family helped me a lot. My teammates pushed me a lot, and you know they helped me get to where I am. So I'm very thankful for the coaches, the well coach statement for the opportunity, and you know we just want to keep getting better as a leadership group. For Will, a lot's made about the idea of iron sharpening iron on the field, good on good. After the reps are over, though, are there conversations between you and, and the edge rushers with the offensive tackles on how your talent on the edge rushing side can help them improve throughout the process through the season? Oh, most definitely. Um, all the time. Like, um, when me and Neil used to go at, go at it all the time, at Leatherwood, um, um, even the, some of the younger guys, you know, they always come to us asking, like, you know, what did I give you this time? Did I give you my hands too fast or my set too fast? Did I vertical set too much, that I jump too much. And, you know, we're not going to sit up there and be like, well, I'm not telling you because I don't want to get beat. In reality, we all use like, you know, this is what you did, this rep, you know, um, or something like that. Or like, what did I do? Did I stab my hand too fast? You know, I was going to come with my outside hand. So I think we all work together because at the end of the day, yeah, we all practicing against each other, but the person that you're going to see in the game is probably going to be doing something that we're doing. So you know how to block them. So we try to give each other good looks in practice. So, you know, when they say iron sharp and iron, it does. But at the end of the day, we're all here to help each other. This is for Henry. Uh, you've now been here basically a calendar year. You decided to come back for your senior season. How much more comfortable do you feel defensively now with this group? And then what part of your game do you think you got to improve the most? Um, as far as like improving on my game, I think I have a lot of areas to improve. Um, I think open field movement um, is a huge part of my game. And I think that that's one area that I can improve. Um, but as far as like Coming back, I think it's been huge. Um, I think we're uh, gelling well on the defensive side of the ball. Um, we got a lot of experience. Um, guys like you know Will Battle. You got DJ in the front. Um, you know, just being able to communicate, have everybody on the same page, has just been huge. So, 
Um, I think this spring was huge for us, being able to make strides that we needed. Um, and, you know, we're excited for the fall.